So it's pretty clear, Dexcom CGM is quite the game changer for diabetes management. I have a couple of videos on the Dexcom G6 and then the Dexcom G7, which is under the shirt here. I have a couple of videos on them already here on my channel, and you can check them out to learn more about continuous glucose monitoring and why it's so great. But what we're going to do in this video is actually expand the experience in order to bring this important information out of the usual spot, and that is of course the Dexcom CGM smartphone app. And we're gonna put it in more places to make managing diabetes even easier. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here are a few different ways of expanding the experience of the Dexcom CGM. So as I mentioned before, um, I already have a couple of videos explaining and sharing stories regarding the Dexcom G6 and G7, but let me give you a quick overview. For people living with diabetes, the most common way of tracking glucose levels throughout the day is by doing one by one finger pricks. You put a drop of blood into a glucose meter and see what the numbers are in that particular moment. The thing is that only happens as many times as you are willing to test. Essentially only as many times as you're willing to feel that kind of painful pinch in your fingers. Enter Dexcom CGM, in this case the Dexcom G7 that goes right on my arm, to make getting those data points easier and way more abundant. The Dexcom Continuous Glucose Monitoring System gets readings of my glucose levels every five minutes, feeding that information to my smartphone so that I can see my numbers at any given moment and over periods of time. There is plenty of information that is available right here in the Dexcom G7 app, but you can get even more insights by checking out the Dexcom Clarity app. That is a great amount of features and data made available from Dexcom directly already, but there are many more ways of taking the data and making it even more available, more accessible, and in some cases, even more fun. So today we're going to talk about a few of those expansions among the over 60 that Dexcom has with various partners. Let's actually start off with a really fun one, a great example of how health tracking doesn't have to be so, let's call it clinical, or even boring. This right here is Happy Bob, an app that can display my Dexcom CGM data and show everything in a very fresh way. While the Dexcom CGM graphs are really useful and are designed pretty well, the app is pretty utilitarian in the way that it presents the data. So what if we were to put a fresh coat of paint on it and make it a bit more jovial? Well, that's exactly what Happy Bob does. The setup is really simple. You just download the app, you put in your Dexcom credentials, and suddenly there's this big smiling face over here over a reimagined version of the Dexcom glucose readings. The big smiling face here is to give visual encouragement, smiling when I'm in range, and then nudging me to action when I happen to be outside of range, and you can see what those ranges might be here in the graph. Right below the face are actual words of encouragement, cheering me on when I'm doing a good job of managing my numbers. 134. I told everyone that I'm Hill Pingaya and now look, you're in range. Yay us. Now, if nothing else, that would probably be great enough. After all, diabetes management can feel a little lonely. These conditions of ours might feel like hours and hours alone. And while small bits of encouragement from our loved ones are always welcomed, they aren't there all the time for us. And that's the reason why Happy Bob is a great companion to the Dexcom CGM. Bob or any of the additional personalities that you can get by going for the paid subscription, uh, they're always there every time I check my glucose levels, reminding me that I'm doing pretty well. And it doesn't end there, as you can see how the data points in the graph are actually stars instead of just dots. Happy Bob also gamifies diabetes management by giving stars for every reading that is within range. Obviously, the more stars on any given day, the better, and the target can be quite high if I'm feeling like an overachiever. Less stars are given for each reading depending on how far from the ideal range I might be, and that adds another layer to the idea that I should get moving or maybe change my diet to have better levels. It's not just a simple number anymore like in the official Dexcom app. Now I'm looking for the most stars that I can get and how I can keep the encouragement up so that, well, I can keep Bob happy. Some final bits of information include a step counter so that you can actually see how many steps you have taken at any given moment that coincides with where your levels are based upon Happy Bob's stars and graph. So you could actually have a pretty good idea of where the activity that you're doing actually made an impact on your glucose levels. Now from the fun, we're gonna go back to a bit more functional tracking with SugarMate. Personally speaking, this is the first service that I actually connected to my Dexcom CGM and it's still one of my favorites because of the plethora of features it allows. I may not even be able to get through all of the features just in this video. But just like before, it's a matter of downloading the app and then putting in your Dexcom credentials. This app provides generally the same amount of data but it expands the graph and its information to a much longer period of time so that I can look back even further and see what the trends are on any given day that I have the Dexcom G7 on. One nice touch that I enjoy is that no matter where I am in the graph, it will show what the arrow was at that particular time. As you might know, a diagonal line upward in the Dexcom app shows a rise is definitely happening, while like right here, an arrow pointed straight up might indicate a big spike. While the data points might seem obvious in those moments, sometimes it's good to see the arrow for further confirmation. 
Other bits of info are found in the squares below, allowing for tracking time and range, averages based upon certain time periods, and then there's the last one that I want to highlight called the GMI. This has actually been pretty important for me because while checking my A1C every few months is routine, I would want to know that whatever I'm doing right now is helping to ensure that I'm moving toward my eventual target. Now, one thing I should mention is that the GMI is a measure of one's average glucose levels, but it will likely be different from the ultimate A1C numbers that are done when getting blood work done. The point of it is to give a good snapshot of potential numbers over a long period of time. One final feature I want to highlight is the urgent high or low alert system. SugarMate takes things a step further than just buzzing loudly when levels go out of range by actually sending a text or actually calling either the user themselves or anyone that is set up in the app as an emergency contact. I've only used this a couple of times and it did a good job of calling my number when something happened, which might be really important if the original Dexcom G7 app alarm doesn't wake me up from sleep or I'm otherwise not paying attention to the alert. And I'm sure that putting in contact like my family members or friends would be an effective way of getting in touch with those who are supporting me in my diabetes journey. So SugarMate does a pretty great job of expanding the information that Dexcom CGMs help provide, but perhaps my favorite part about it is how easily it can be accessed in multiple places. I've been talking about the app and that is obviously found on iOS here, but to access SugarMate in more places, all I would need is a web browser. SugarMate has its own encrypted login that lets users see all of the same data anywhere, be it iOS or Android or Windows. Uh, at the very least, I would just have a tab open on my web browser at all times so that there's a convenient place for me to see my level right now, complete with an arrow to show if I'm steady or if my numbers are on the move. Speaking of being on the move, the final Dexcom CGM connection I'm going to talk about in this one involves Garmin. That's right, Garmin and their smartwatches like this, which are fitness trackers as well, that are really useful for doing things like distance running or any types of workouts, and you can track all of that and still be able to get your Dexcom CGM info here. Now, alongside SugarMate, this was one of the first places that I learned I could access my readings in a more convenient place. It was such an enticing prospect to have my numbers accessible right on my smartwatch that it convinced me to get this, the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. Little did I know that I would actually be using it for more than just smartwatch things and step tracking. My Garmin has seen me through a few 5K runs in this past year already. I am working my way up to longer and more rigorous runs, but doing my first 5K late last year was a huge personal accomplishment. There are so many Garmin smartwatches for all types of walkers and runners, but many of them can actually display the current Dexcom CGM reading as part of a long list of metrics that make these fitness trackers so useful. So alongside other stats like my body battery, sleep tracking, uh, heart rate, and step counts, we add in Dexcom CGM numbers to give yet another indelible tool on the road to better health. And just like with the other connections in this video, it's all a simple matter of signing in with one's Dexcom credentials. Only this time you're going to do that through a companion Dexcom CGM app available from the Garmin Connect IQ store. Now let me just say, it's not lost to me that I'm a very connected person, with a Garmin on my wrist, the smartphone in my pocket, and now the Dexcom G7 on my arm. But Dexcom's own connections ensure that I always have my numbers at hand so I can make managing my diabetes that much easier. And so, there you have it. A look at just a handful of connections that Dexcom has in order to expand the experience of using one of their CGMs. If you're a fellow person with diabetes, whether it be type 1 or type 2, let me know if you're using a Dexcom CGM in the comments down below, and if you have connected to any of the services that I have just outlined. Uh, diabetes management doesn't have to be a singular experience, so feel free to share your story in the comments below as well. But from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and... Enjoy your tea, everybody.